Before we begin, click subscribe to stay up to date with all of our newest video content. Hello and welcome to Acumatica Intro to Interfaces. My name is Troy Vars. I am a senior developer at CS3 Technology and I will be your guide as we begin to talk about how to integrate your outside applications in Acumatica. In this first part, we are going to focus on taking the technical jargon around interfaces and putting it into lay terms. We introduce the concept of APIs and briefly discuss their uses and benefits. We will then get into three different designs for integrations and talk about the integration options that Acumatica is foundationally built upon. As a verb, integration is about combining systems to promote the free flow of data across different systems. Us developers tend to turn verbs into nouns, so once we have integrated two systems, we tend to refer to that combination as an integration. Another term you might hear about is an integration point. That is the fancy way of saying where two systems touch when integrated. An integration point can also be ver referred to as an interface when the two systems are merged or communicating with each other. There are many types of interface. A steering wheel or a data entry form is the most common type called an user interface or UI. UIs allow humans to communicate with the operating system and by extension its programs. UIs come in a variety of kinds. Command lines, like when you type run on your PC, graphical UIs or GUIs or GUIs, depending on your favorite pronunciation, aka WIMP or Windows menus icons and pointers are probably the most recognizable and most used today. Menu-driven UIs like ATMs or info kiosks, form-based UIs that utilize text boxes, combo boxes, list boxes, buttons, etc. These are mostly found on websites, or even natural language, which is simply said voice recognition, i.e. Siri, Alexa, or Mr. Scott picking up a mouse and saying, hello, computer. The newest type of UI is gesture-driven. Perhaps you've used a Wii remote or an infrared keyboard where you're typing fingers, break infrared light, and that records the signals that go to your computer. Other types of interfaces include hardware interfaces, which are hardware to hardware links, like your keyboard to PC, or a monitor to PC, or even a switch to a router along a network. And finally, we have APIs, which is an interface that concerns us most in our topic of integrations. Simply put, APIs are how we allow two programs to talk to each other. This is all fascinating, but why bother to integrate at all? Well, how development companies create software is changing. When it comes to creating new programs, software development companies come in two main varieties, the OEM or ERP developers and ICVs or partner developers. OEM developers focus on the big picture stuff. They focus on core functionality and the UI. The most advanced of these OEM developers are building the foundation for easily accommodating outside applications and customizations. Acumatica is a leader in this type of thinking. They know they don't have the investment capital, nor do their clients want them to spend development dollars on recreating the wheel or corner case solutions. They want the base software as cost-effective as possible. This leaves room for the ISV or partner developers to specialize in corner cases by industry or even by function. ISVs are the teams that utilize APIs to expand the base functionality into silo markets and to build one-off customizations for business-specific solutions. Many of these ISVs are industry leaders who expanded Acumatic's functionality in their niche market and now share their expertise and the cost of their own development across a wider audience. Because Acumatica is built on the principle of making customization and integration easier, Acumatica's audience grows, the ISVs see a return on their investment, and Acumatica's customers gain better functionality at a lower cost than would be possible otherwise. This is a win-win-win, and since I get to tell you about it, it's really a win-win-win-win, as Michael Scott would say. Was this video helpful? Click subscribe to see more videos like this one.